Ouch. I'm going with the grenade again. The grenade is a nice touch, in my opinion. Oh, he went right towards it, wouldn't he? Oh. Alright, we're going to wait this time so we don't let ourselves on fire. I don't know how long the body's going to burn there, but maybe we need to go around the kitchen side. Yeah, we probably go around the kitchen side. Oh, God, what the hell was that? What the hell was that, man? That was glitchy. He did not stick to the cover that I wanted to stick to at all. There's definitely another dude out yonder. Let's just toss that out, see what good that can do. Hit the floor! Perhaps some good. Not enough good. Where are you, man? I hear gunfire. I don't see you, though. I don't like it. Alright, let's just move up on the wall, I guess. Oh, there you are, you son of a bitch. God damn it, man. Dead, cool beans. I'm running, I'm running. Right, have fun with that. Whoa, holy God. They really only have one way they can come from, right? I heard another one of their cars. I only have one grenade left, but let's see what good it can do. <laughs> There's some good screaming going on out there. All right, where is this? I'll see this last dude. It's like right here. Oh. It's just their car? Oh, there's guys in the car. There were guys in the car. Go to my family. They should appreciate my murderous... What the hell are you doing, man? They should appreciate my murderous skills a little bit more now. Oh, dear God. Got you, you dick. No, it's not. What was that? Someone there? <laughs> I'm gonna start shooting. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, you like that. Oh, he's teabagging him. Oh my God. He's teabagging the dad. I thought I was on that guy. So you sit on his face? It's called teabagging. I really fucked him up good, though, huh? All right, listen, I'm gonna make a call. It's all gonna be okay. Stay put. Huh. I had a feeling the movie premiere wasn't gonna happen. Mission passed. Pedal to the metal. I did not get that part. Oh, well, whatever. Whatever. Come on. Let's move on. What call is he making? Probably have to go kill that Devin guy now. I have to maybe have the game be frozen now. Nope. It came to my house, Lester. My house. So I asked Amanda and the kids to move out for a few days. I hate to say it, but Merriweather isn't short on excuses to come and kill you. Nor is Devin Weston. I ain't looking for perspective, Lester. They came after my family. All right, all right. I, I don't know what to say. Does this change where you stand on the Union Depository? Hell no. We move on that right away, before it gets any hotter. That's smart. Uh, meet me at the strip joint. I'll get word to Frank and Trevor. Alright, All right, cool beans. Let's go do this. Let me run. Let me be free. Oh, this is the actual heist. It has the H and everything. I don't feel that we're prepared, so we must be doing the planning phase right now. Because we really haven't planned for this at all. Let's get the hell out of here. Well, Jimmy has definitely, like, a few of the characters that I didn't like. What was going on back there? What did this guy want? Is he the last one that I need? What's your deal? So, like, man, I know it's rough out there, man, but you gotta have faith, man. Alright? It's 
Everything's gonna be okay. Like the therapist above says, man, it's gonna be okay. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Uh huh. Is that the point of that? Maybe. So like the alternative to life, man, is death. And the interesting thing is that well, life is cool, but so is death. Whatever, man. I'm sure there's some point to that. He's probably the last of the random encounters or something, but whatever, man. He doesn't want to get to the point. He doesn't want to get to the point I'm on my way, but yeah, like uh, Jimmy and even um, Amanda. Yeah, here's Michael, Amanda now. Did you find them? Who? The person who sent the mercenaries to our house. I'm working on it. Are we safe? You said we would be safe. He's not gonna try that again. I'm on top of this, Amanda. Trust me. Really? You're sure? I'm positive. Look, I love you, baby. I'm gonna take care of this. Probably, but uh, yeah, they've all kind of come around. His horrible family is not so horrible. They haven't been murdered yet, like I was afraid they were gonna try to pull. But you know, there's still some game to go. You never do know. Be unlikely that everybody's gonna make it through this alive, but you never know. You never do know. So I assume we're probably gonna need to get some gear for this heist, like. They're gonna be like random side, well not random, but little side missions that I gotta plan. Alright, so we are at the strip club. We need to go around the other side though, because that's where the door is. Hey guys. Got my own VIP parking right here. Alrighty. Well, he's a little overly friendly. At least now we know where we're going. A little bit of a walk, and I cannot run. <sighs> what is going on in here? Yeah, this is their little room. Is it now? Does this go out on the stage? It sure does. What happens if he goes out on the stage? Sorry, I'm late. Oh, we were just talking about you. Well, don't worry. Another few hours, you never have to talk about me again, Trevor. You're the one who likes to talk. Watch your back. You too. That's all I'm saying. Fuck you. Fuck you, all right, excuse all right, all me. Right, enough! Huh? Enough! Thank you. Okay, uh, this is it. Well, we have two options. They're both it's a little, big uh, board. Out there, but then again, what do you expect? Okay, option one. We hijack their armored cars. We take the crews hostage, and then we infiltrate the depository. Now, once you're in there and you've got the score, we send in a team of modded cars. You load up, you get out. And we need to infiltrate the transportation grid and manipulate it to aid our escape. But option two, we cause a distraction out front. Make them think we're dumb. <laughs> well, we've never had a problem convincing people <laughs> of that, have we? <laughs> the other guys will be drilling, taking what they can. You're going to be the distraction. Always the attention seeker. You know, for a guy who's always stepping on his friends to get ahead, he has an unfortunately low sense of self-worth. Okay, okay, let me show you the board. To uh, recap, these are our options. We try to make them give us the gold, or we drill a big old hole in the side of the bank and we take it out. Mm. If you're drilling a big old hole, you'll need a big old drill, a tunnel bore machine. I'll locate it, but wow. you have to steal it and store it near the bank. Uh, they're excavating a new part of the metro network around there, so that's where you'll go in. Uh, we'll need choppers for the getaway, too. Uh, Trevor has one we can use. The other can be bought. The guys on the ground will need a getaway car, so get something fast and tough, and then modify it as much as you can to increase your chances of getting away from the cops. And it's got to be stored in a parking garage near the UD. Uh, there's going to be a lot of heat, so think about that. Um, I'm forgetting something. Uh, oh, that's it. <laughs> we'll need a train to land the gold on and take it to the wow, warehouse. Wow, okay. We'll have to steal it uh, again. I'll send you the details. This is going to take a little bit of work. Now, if you're interested in the more um, subtle approach, hijacking the armored cars and so on, huh? you've got to get some police stingers. Only cops are licensed to have them, so that's a headache of its own. 
Uh, what else? Um, oh, right. Uh, you'll need to get a hold of and mod some getaway cars. Uh, normal suspension's going to give out under a couple of tons of gold. Whoa, man, a couple of tons? Four tons in total. <laughs> That's what I can get the system to divert into the cage we're hitting. Fuck me! That's a lot of gold. Okay, okay, last thing. You remember that underpass we saw from the helicopter? Well, that's where I'll set up the uh, smoke and mirrors to get the cops off your scent. I've heard that before. Michael, subtle or obvious? What's it going to be? I'm kind of liking the obvious route, to be honest. <laughs> hmm. Um, all right, uh, we're going through the wall, so we'll just need a skeleton crew. <laughs> okay, um, two gunmen and two drivers. Two drivers. The first driver will pilot one of the choppers getting you out of there. Half the gold will be in that chopper, so these better be some safe effing hands. We'll take this guy. Third time working together, why not? This guy's not as good. This girl, Taliana, she's supposed to be good. And she'll work for way less than she's worth, if you believe that. We'll take her, too. I'm not gonna pass her up. Gunman 1 is with Franklin, burrowing in and pulling out the gold. Gunman 2 hits the bank lobby with you and makes it look like you're a couple of idiots trying your luck. We'll go with him for the first Jobs gunman. For the bureau team. And... This is a little bit more dicey. Let's go with the chef guy again. This he was is good. the big one. Is there anything you want to go over? Nope. Confirm. Great. All right. We get the tunnel bore machine, and we're good to go. Fucking glory seeker. Oh, you got any better ideas? Obviously not, otherwise you would already killed me and done the gig yourself. I mean, what kind of vain asshole decides that the best way to rob the largest holding bank on the West Coast is for him, and him personally, to come at the front door? The kind of vain asshole who's stuck working with you, you Okay, all right, all right, ladies. We <laughs> That's the first douchebag I've heard. At least I remember hearing. Whew, well, this is a big job. This is definitely a big job. So we're just leaving here, and then it's going to put up the markers of where we need to go next. Is that how this is going to go down? Uh, what is going on out here? You're yelling. Whenever I try and leave, they give me another dance. <laughs> All right, I'm assuming if we go outside, it will clear this mission and we'll get on to actually doing stuff, right? Ricky from Life Invader. Bro, I know you'll find this hard to believe, but it's kind of difficult for someone with a middling GPA and bad references to get a job in this climate. You gotta help me. Hey, if there's something, I'll call you. That's all I can say. Good luck out there. Well, that's weird. I wonder why he keeps calling. I don't have a job for him or anything. So what are we doing now? I got nothing. Well, let's check. We all have three missions. I guess we can try taking on Franklin here, see if see if he's got anything going. That mission was definitely not cleared yet. Or something. It's definitely not telling me where the freaking telling the boring machine is. I remember seeing we got those. A lot to do. Yeah, we got a lot to do and we got no markers. You kidding me? Let's look at the map. Yeah, we got like nothing. All right, does the brief say that I'm actually on a mission right now? Lose the cops? What? Get in the helicopter, lose the cops. Huh? What the hell is it talking about? Is is Lester up to something stupid? I mean, not Lester, Trevor. I keep calling him Lester. I don't know why. It's got to be him, right? Because... Otherwise, I don't really... Is this thing bugged or something? That does not look like a place that he belongs. Oh, God. Again? With the underwear. It's like the third time. I guess party's over, then. I am not sure where the helicopter is. Huh. I actually need to end it for the day. I gotta go do something anyway. So I'll be back. We'll figure out what's going on later. Thanks for watching.